And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata, and this will be the last preview because it's the last preview of the week of the MLR 2023 season, week number 18, the final week of the season. So this will be the last preview of the regular season. We, of course, will do previews for the playoffs and, of course, the MLR championship at the very end. But this is the final week of the MLR season. And even though a lot of things have been decided, there is a game where, or there's a couple games where things are still going to make a difference when it comes to who hosts the Eastern Conference semifinal game. Um, everything else has been set, but there still are a few really, really intriguing matches. Um, of course, for my Subaru Pick'em people, we still have a last week where uh, the first place, the winner of the of the Subaru, gets a free MLR t-shirt of the team of your choice, courtesy of myself. So things are still up for grabs to be played for. Uh, let's get on with it. A full slate of games. Everybody's playing. Divided between the two days of the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Three on Saturday, three on Sunday. Remember, you can watch all the games with the exception of the Houston-New England game. I believe those are the two teams playing. That will be on Fox Sports 1. Everything else will be live and then on demand on the Rugby Network, a completely free app. I highly recommend you download it. It's absolutely free. Every game of this season um, and of course, all the games that will be in the final week, you can watch on the Rugby Network. So let's kick off Saturday, June 17th. Everything is Pacific Standard Time kickoff, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have the Chicago Hounds going over to Choctaw Stadium to take on the Dallas Shackles, two teams that have two wins apiece in their entire franchise history. Chicago just recently won their second game against Utah. Um... One of their wins is against Dallas. Dallas, of course, has won two games themselves, their first time in franchise history. One of these two teams may possibly get their third win in franchise history. It could end up being a tie because we've had a lot of those. But again, two wins apiece. Who will get their possible third win in the franchise uh, series? These two, as I mentioned before, played earlier this season. Chicago barely won that game, 24-22. I think, honestly, even though there is a little bit of momentum for Chicago, Dallas plays really, really hard at home. I think Dallas gets the win, and they will end the season with three wins over Chicago's two, uh, their third win in franchise history. Moving on, two games at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time kickoff. Rugby ATL at Old Glory DC in Segra Field. This is going to be one of two interesting games. Um, could possibly be the only interesting game, depending on the results. Old Glory needs to defeat ATL with a bonus point victory to have the possibility of hosting the semifinal Eastern Conference game against Rugby New York, your defending reigning MLR champions. They have to win with a bonus point, meaning they have to score four tries against ATL. It's at Segra Field. ATL has been looking shaky. Granted, Old Glory DC got slaughtered by Houston last weekend. So they look shaky. But man, Old Glory has a lot to prove and a still a lot to win for. Hosting against New York would make a difference. I think Old Glory gets away with the win. Will they get the bonus point victory? That I don't know. Then, Nola Gold goes over to York, York Lions Stadium to take on the Toronto Arrows. Uh, these two teams have played against each other uh, earlier this season. Nola ended up winning 40-24. to That was at the gold mine. Overall, Nola has the most wins in this uh, franchise rivalry. Five wins to two. You know, Toronto has been struggling a lot. I feel there's still a lot of pride left in that team, especially after being dominated by San Diego 50-17. to I think... Toronto makes good on this final game of the season, final home game of the season. To their loyal Canadian rugby fans, I think Toronto is able to pull off the victory. And now let's go with the rest of the games of the weekend. The last three on Sunday. Sunday, June 18th, we start really early if you're a Pacific Coast fan. 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time kickoff. Houston Sabre Cats go over to Veterans Memorial Stadium to take on the New England Free Jacks. Um, this will be a pretty interesting game, in my opinion, because 
Neither team really has anything to play for. New England already has secured themselves a bye. So it's going to be interesting to see what rosters are going to be starting. Houston, of course, is out of the playoffs. So really nothing to play for in this except for maybe bragging rights. These teams have only played once before. New England won that game 32-0 back in 2021. Uh, you know... Again, very hard to tell who's going to suit up for this game. Will New England rest any of their starters because they have a bye going into next week? Um, will Houston play any of their starters even though it is the last game of the season? Will they just go all out? Um, I'm just going to say maybe New England wins this one just because they have home pitch advantage. Um, and they have been looking like the best team in the league. Then we move on to noon, uh, an interesting game. Utah Warriors will go to uh, Mount Vernon and uh, Memorial Stadium to take on the reigning defending MLR champions, the New York Ironworkers. Now, this game may be affected by the results of the Old Glory Rugby ATL game. As I mentioned before, if Old Glory wins that game with a bonus point, New York has to at least get a losing bonus point. Okay, they just need one point in order to secure themselves home pitch uh, field for the Eastern Conference uh, semifinal game against Old Glory DC. Now, if uh, Old Glory loses, New York already secured themselves the home pitch advantage for that game. So considering that Old Glory game is played on Saturday, it's very possible Sunday... New York may have completely changed their lineup and rest will rest all their starters. You know, that's a very big possibility. Utah, again, uh, they have secured themselves a playoff game. They will be going to Seattle for the Western semifinal game. So, I'm sorry. Utah has lost. Houston won. I'm sorry. I got it confused. Houston's going to go. So, Houston still, we'll see if they have anything to have to play for because they already secured themselves a playoff. Still, the roster is going to be interesting. Utah really doesn't have anything to play for. I don't know what roster they'll have. Uh, this one's still up in the air. Depending if New York has to win, um, they'll obviously put a lot more of their stars up. So in their rivalry, New York is up 2-1. to one. Uh, The last time they played with in 2021, it was a close game, 28-24 to 24 for New York. Again, home pitch advantage. I'm just going to go with New York. Okay. Now, this is where it gets fun. The final game of the weekend, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This game, I thought only one game will be on Fox Sports 1. The Houston New England game is actually going to be two. Seattle and San Diego will be up there as well. So we get two games on Fox Sports 1. They will not be on the Rugby Network Live. You have to watch them on Fox Sports 1. Then wait 24 hours. They will be uploaded to the Rugby Network. But this will be a huge game. Arguably the biggest rivalry in MLR. Seattle Seawolves going over to San Diego Legion. The top team in the West versus the second team in the West. Um, possibility that these two teams play in the next week after this, uh, after the following weekend. Uh, if Seattle defeats Houston in the Western Conference, they can end up playing a third time this season. Uh, the rivalry between these two sits at five apiece. Uh, who will get the possible six win? They played earlier in the season. San Diego barely snuck by Seattle 23-20. to That was in Starfire Stadium. This time they're going to Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego. Again, it's going to be interesting to see what rosters they have. San Diego obviously it secured themselves the home field advantage and the bye. Will they rest their starters? Will Seattle rest any starters? Because they'll have to focus more on the playoff in the next game. This game means nothing uh, in the grand scheme of things except for bragging rights. We'll see. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with San Diego just because they've looked really, really good. Seattle did lose just recently to New England, and they look pretty sloppy in it. Um, obviously, they'll want to bounce back, but man, San Diego has looked really, really good. So it's going to be a very interesting weekend of games. There's going to be a lot of toss-ups again. If you're in my Super Brew pick them, even though it's the last week, don't forget to put in your picks. Obviously, good luck to MSDRFC83 and... Um, an SD Cow Guy because you two are technically the highest ones in the running. Jahego is one place back in third. It could possibly come down to you three 
for the final victory in our Super Brew Pick'em and the free MLR t-shirt of your choice, courtesy of myself. So again, good luck to you three. Good luck to everybody in the Super Brew Pick'em. I mean, I'm still playing, even though I'm completely out of the race. Because it is a lot of fun to do. So, as always, thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you on the pitch.